So here today we're going to test a couple of bags of nacho cheese. Um, the, the bags here, they're pretty thick plastic, um, two different sizes, one a little bigger than the other. Um, the setup we're going to use here today is what we call our KBC, our Kinos bag cup. Um, inside this extrusion here are a set of um, we have four MIDI SI32-3 coax cartridges inside. Um, so you have compressed air going in, vacuum is generated inside the, the chamber, um, and then vacuum flow is directed to the bottom of this cup here. And what happens is the bag comes and seals against the inner ring here um, and able to allow you to, to lift and, and move the bag. Um, and it's in an application where suction cups may not be able to do it um, due to the weight of the bag. Um, this one's about five, six pounds, and this one's maybe three to four pounds. Um, it's a little bit smaller, but definitely uh, it would be difficult to, to lift with cups as, as the, the product is is, vis, um, is liquid and moves around and we want to release from the cups. So what we'll do is go ahead and just turn this on. Um, we have it connected to a vacuum gauge here um, to see kind of what vacuum levels we're getting in the gripper. Um, we do have a decent amount of flow. We have about 48 SCFM of vacuum flow um, through the gripper. So we should be able to pick this bag up, no problem. We'll start here in a larger bag. So as you saw there, we were able to lift, lift the bag. Um, we're dropping it a little bit. So I'm gonna turn it over and try to reorient the gripper. Um, the bag cup, maybe this one may be a little large for this bag. Um, we do have one that's slightly smaller um, that would possibly do, do better. Um, just because as the bag sucks up, um, it wants to pull almost past the bag and then you have a, an introduced leakage and, and a weak point there in the grip. So we'll do that, um, lift this bag again, kind of orient it almost perfectly in there, trying to maximize um, you know, how even the, the bag is on the, on the cup. And then we'll move on to the smaller bag. You do see there is a there's a ring there where the um, the bag is sucked up into the the cup, um, but as you push that down, that ring disappears. So if these are being stacked, um, you know, being stacked into a bag and box or something like that, you wouldn't have to worry about that that ring being permanently up. Um, that's just from the material itself in the bag holding the shape um, of of the bag. So now move on to the smaller bag here. Um, and go ahead and turn this on. So we do have a little bit of leakage here. Um, this fat cup's a little too big for this bag. You saw that the bag, the character's bag, we're trying to suck it up into the gripper a little bit too much, um, indicating this cup is a little bit too large. So sizing a, a gripper a little bit smaller for both of these bags um, would be ideal, um, and this would be the ideal solution for, for that as well. 